How's it going, humans? Welcome to 7 billion humans. Yes, we're on Earth, and uh, Earth has changed a lot in this game. Basically, this is a programming game where you have to program humans to do things. Humans have become obsolete, and uh, basically, yeah, we program them to do what we want to do. Now, I've never played a programming game or a very in-depth programming game. I've never programmed in my life. So, this could go interesting. I'm gonna give it my best shot. We'll do a first look here. If you guys do want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Let's waste no time. Select, select, yes, yeah, select my employee ID. Select it. Now, uh, I did play a little bit of the game here just to kind of learn how to play. We're gonna start brand new though, and we have to create our human. So, I guess technically we are a human, but we're running humans. We're actually programming them. So, I kind of like this guy. Good old blue over here. This is me. That photo looks just like you. Doesn't really, to be totally honest, but thank you. Here is your badge. Please proceed to the elevator. And here we go. We're on phase one of our, uh, you know, I guess our, our job now. So basically this is probably, oh, it actually has ways you can go. So you can choose where you want to go. Uh, but yeah, this is the whole game. Every one of these is a level. And my God, there is a lot of levels in this game. Uh, I wonder what the phases mean. I guess we'll find out as we do get going here. Now, this first one's kind of just a storyline behind it, so if you guys don't want this, feel free to skip ahead. We're gonna watch it, though. Hey, you! Mm -hmm. Are you a hard-working farmer? Mm -hmm. Let machines do that for you! Are you a hard-working coal miner, truck driver, or coffee shop employee? Let machines do that for you! Uh, well, actually... Tastes like progress. But aren't there any good jobs left for hardworking families like us? You'll never need to work again. Machines have provided unlimited free energy. Unlimited fast, clean transportation. Unlimited free, nutritious food. Mm, you're completely free to do whatever you want. A marvelous modern utopia. But we want good paying jobs. jobs, jobs, jobs. Okay, creating jobs. You want jobs? You will have jobs. They will be the best jobs. Huge. Believe me, you have never seen so many jobs. Where can we get these jobs? Just show up on Monday. The machines have created enough jobs for every single person on the planet and the whole family to enjoy. I have a PhD in medieval French literature. Even the most useless skills can be put to work in the new office building visible from space. Congratulations, all seven billion humans on the planet. You're hired. We're hired, guys. Good old Tomorrow Corporation. Now we're going to get into the actual game. Welcome new employees. That's me. All right, here we go. Oh, you're too. It took me a year to get in. God damn, son. You're late. Well, I'm sorry, this is clearly a pretty big building, as you can see by the background. Everyone is already here. They're just standing, blinking, waiting for instructions. This isn't about you anymore. You're the boss of all these workers, so indeed we are the boss. They will do whatever you say. So let's see how fit the workforce is. Please just have everyone pick up their individual green data cube and drop it again. So, literally in this game, we're programming humans, guys. Let's put those arms to good use. There's nothing like an early success to inspire confidence. So, here is our, our programming board over here. So, we want them to simply step right now downwards. Uh, just it said pick up and then drop. So, pick up and drop. And then we play our program, and if we do it correctly, they do the task at hand. Yes, stunning work, everyone. These workers are clearly experts at picking up and putting stuff down again. Now, that one was pretty damn easy. Uh, excellent work. Your presence is requested on the next floor. All right, so I guess the whole story is we're slowly going up the floors. We made it to floor three, and we got a lot more to do, as you can see. So now we're going to learn about transporting. Uh, well, we kind of already did that, but uh, this one's looking a little bit more crazy. You guys up there, the line of data cubes is too far away to read. Please tell the workers to move the entire line of data cubes down by two tiles. Just set it right there between those nice potted plants so we can see them a little easier. These glasses aren't just looking for handsome, you know. Okay, so again, this is pretty easy. Step uh, downwards, pick up, and it looks like we gotta probably do two steps and then a drop. Uh, oh, it looks like it automatically goes downwards. It acknowledges what I did in the past and does it again, so that's good to know. And drop. Now, assuming I did that correctly, we should... Drop it right there. There we go. Look at me. 
running these humans like a damn program. That's more like it. Okay. Like icons on a desktop, deliberate positioning is everything. Okay. Like icons on a desktop. Okay. I, I guess that's true. I am very picky when it comes to my desktop icons. All right. Next elevator. So every time we do this is a year. Man, we're going to be here for a while. Long distance delivery. All right. So I guess we're adding distance to this. And... Ooh, okay. Just read a book on mindfulness meditation. So important. I'll let you borrow it later. Thanks. I would like to completely clear my mind and also the room. All data cubes and workers must be cleared away so I can concentrate. Workers, please pick up the data cubes next to you and just keep walking until you exit the room through one of those convenient holes on the other side. So clearly humans are not that important because we're probably killing them right now. What's at the bottom of these infinite holes? Yes, that is a very good question to think about while meditating. You got a new command, jump! No, your workers will not actually jump into the air. This is not one of those games. Here, this will tell you all about it. So the jump command is to basically reset our command list. So what we're gonna wanna do is step to the right this time. Uh, then we're going to want to pick up and step once again to the right and then jump and go back to step once again. So basically this is telling it after it steps and picks up, it wants to continue stepping until, well, it cannot step anymore because it's fallen in a hole. That should be pretty much everything we need to do here. And you can see it's going back and forth and stepping and stepping and stepping until they fall to their demise. And that's what he wants, so that's what he gets. He's also an ocean. What the fuck? These are the guys that are leading us right now. I am an autumn forest. I am a sunset. I am hungry. Anyone want to go get lunch? There's nobody left! You killed them all! Anyone? All right. Well, they're clearly the, the leaders of this game are crazy. Okay, an important decision. Oh, God. This is... I'm getting scared already. We're kind of getting into the hard part of this game. And this is where the coding is going to get interesting. All right. Let's all ask ourselves a little question. Would you prefer an instant shrieking, splattering doom or going to a really fun office birthday party? I think pretty much everybody should say the, uh, the latter. Well, now you have a new command to help you decide. Everybody, let's all take a look to our left and to our right. One side, you'll have a nice data cube illuminating the way toward the office party. So we got to get down these little holes. On the other side, you'll have eternal doom. Use your if command to locate which side has the data cube. And continue walking in that direction until you fall to a nice safe hole that will take you to the office party. Choose wisely. I'll see you down there. All right, so now we got the if command. This is where it's going to get interesting because we can basically program with this. We have less than, greater than, all that stuff. And then we have a lot of inputs here that we can put. Uh, so in this one, we want to find the data cube and go in that direction. So the best way to code that is I have no freaking idea. All right, so let's just try this. If to the le right, I guess... There's a data cube, um, then we gotta walk, okay, step that direction, right, because it's always gonna be to the direction of the cube, um, and then we have an else, how do we get that else command, okay, else, what the hell is this thing, drag commands here to learn more, okay, well, I guess we can learn more, use this command to run certain commands in some cases, and other commands in other cases, you can add extra conditions by clicking, the uh, dot dot dot. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so it's a good thing I read this. Once the if command is placed in your program. Okay, so and or, or or let's go to or. If it's to the right or left, a data cube. Step. Did I do that right? I'm thinking I did that right, and then we're going to jump. Well, no, because this is going to tell them to always step right. What can we tell them to step left or right? No, this is, there's, there's, I'm, I'm totally doing this wrong. You know what? Let's just see what happens here. <laughs> All right, let me try and rethink this. There's probably multiple ways to do this. If to the right, there's a data cube step right. Now, if we put another if down here, I think, yes. If there's a data cube to the left, we'll put a data cube there. Step left. Oh my God. This is, this is freaking me out. Okay. Step left. And we're also going to put jumps in here. Wait, no, because then I have to pick it up. Okay, 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 okay. Pick up. And then we want to also pick up on this one. So we need to actually put an or command, right? Or, oh my god, I don't, I don't know how the or commands work. Get rid of that. 
Uh, I think if it doesn't have this, it will just maybe go to the next one on line four. Not really sure. All right, but then we're going to want to pick up and step. And I don't want else. I want to keep going with this, I believe. Step, and then we also have to jump. Oh, my God. This is just crazy. This is only uh, the first freaking one. Oh, well, we're, we're on, like, the fifth one, to be fair. But this is the first difficult one. Uh, then we're going to want to keep jumping. So we'll keep stepping until we fall into the hole. So let's see if we can do that over here as well. Uh, that way, and then jump. And my brain hurts, but I think... Is that good? Let's find out. Okay, so they're... <gasps> yes! Ha 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 ha! I'm a coding master! That was... That hurt my brain, man. And I'm, we're only on level 5. Great. Congratulations, that was truly a feat of engineering. I'm not feeling like attending the party. The, the party's where you die, right? But you guys have fun. Okay! I'm feeling a little better about myself now. That didn't take as long as I thought it would, because uh, I've never done any of those before. The if commands or or commands, this is all totally new to me, so... Uh, I'm a little scared that we're already into this kind of d difficulty, but a uh, little exterminator... Oh, I like the sound of that. All right, year six, here we go. Uh, whoa. I'm learning programming. So am I, dude. In fact, I have already solved this assignment for you. Well, sort of. The worker is supposed to go pick up that cube down below without falling in the holes, but something's wrong. So I have to fix your code, basically, is what you're telling me. So I'll allow you to fix it for me. Let's watch what happens together. So he's walking down there. Uh, oh, it's slowing down. Cool. And that's, that's not right. Okay, so... So for some reason, he does one too many steps, and he falls down the hole. So we just got to get rid of a step, maybe? Oh, before you edit the program, use this button to step one line at a time. Wow, this is a really cool game. So basically, we can just see where he is and when the problem goes wrong. So the problem that's going wrong, if there's nothing, jump back and step to the right. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, there's, again, multi uh, this is a really bad code for this, I think. But I think we need an if command, another if command in here. Well, I don't even have access to the commands now that I look at it. Do I? No, I have to actually manually edit this. I can't. Oh, man. Okay, so I was going to put another if command if there's a whole step to the left. But I don't think I can do that now. So what I think I have to do is just simply tell him to step back and then step down well how's he gonna keep going down so let's just see what happens when I did that so I tell them instead of going to the right or did, did he go to the right I forget well, let's just let's just watch what happens here and he can go back and then down and then down damn it I'm so close and I can't put another one in I can't even put in an, another jump command, so I'm doing this. I mean, obviously, that would work if I had options to add more commands. Oh, I do! I do have options! Oh, my God, there could have been a million different ways to do this. This is just such a sloppy code, it's kind of annoying. But we have a jump command, so we could just put a jump on, for example, this. And, oh, no, not that one. We'll do this. I don't know which if, if the jump direction affects it, but that should be everything that we need. It's a really long and probably crappy code, but uh, should be what we need to do to go down. And, oh, now we're stuck in a jump loop. Damn it! All right, so a quick way to do this is just jump at the bottom instead of uh, before the next step. So there we go. I'm figuring it out, man. I think, I think we should have it anyways. This guy might run into the wall and hurt himself, though. Nothing to pick up. Oh, there we go. So it actually looked for the pickup because it was in the code. And then it just did the code once again. Okay, so that wasn't perfect, but it helped him at least. That, that was his damn code, not mine. Collation Station. Year 7. Here we go. The years are going quick in this one. This place is a mess. The engineer left data all over the floor. These people have no appreci appreciation for style or art. Okay, let's pick up all the data cubes and organize them in a nice row along the bottom. Okay. Uh, right between those useful arrows. Ooh, useful. That might mean... That, that that might be a little hint. I could use those, maybe. But watch out for the infinite hole. What? How can you know where data cubes are? Or where infinite holes are? Well, it says here. Remember, your if command will illuminate the world around you. Okay, this might be harder than I think. People say the world around me is a haze of confusion. What is this thing? Oh, it's comments! So I can actually put comments in my code or draw. Love it! Oh my god, the, the, the actual coding in this game is really impressive. All right, so obviously everybody needs to step downwards, and we should put an if command next. If there is 
If downwards there is a block or a data cube, pick it up. And then if we put a jump command in this, and then if we put a jump command in this, well, this isn't done just yet, but uh, nothing to pick up. Oh, we have to move ahead. Okay, so uh, I realized what I did wrong there. We need another step command right here because we need them to step on top of the pickup location. So now we've dealt with that. They're just going to stop moving once they pick up their cube. That's not how to do it, obviously. I just wanted to make sure that worked. So I think I'm going to fine-tune this a little bit. Fuck my brain, dude. This is hard. Come on, brain. Work with me. So I put an else command in here, then if downwards there's nothing, uh, I guess we could tell it to walk to step. Oh my god. Uh, forward. And then we gotta put another loop on this, or a jump. Um, so we're gonna jump and go back to that step, and then we need another else command, so I need to somehow, if else... There is downwards a black hole. Uh, do we need to drop it? Yes, drop. Okay, and then if we put drop down here, I think... Is this good? Oh, I have no idea. My brain hurts. Okay, these guys... <gasps> what? 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 <laughs> oh, God. Wait, let, let's go back and watch that. So... Oh, she went down... So if there's nothing there... if a, Oh, so these... My brain hurts! Okay, so I think I got this. So right now I'm telling them, step, if there's a data cube, step, pick it up. Else, keep stepping. And we're going to put jump back to the top of if. So every block, they're going to check for that, I believe. So data cubes are being picked up. Data cubes are being picked up. Okay, so we're back to kind of where we were. And they stop. So this is good code to get them up to the point where they grab it. This is where it gets confusing because I have to get them to walk once again and stop before they walk into the pit of hell. So, oh, I'm just not good at coding, guys. So let's try and look at this logically. What's going on at the end? Where is everybody in the line of code? So everybody's at the end. They're waiting for their next instruction. So... Assuming this part of the code should be good. If we don't touch that, we got that far. So now we want them to step. Um, and then we want another if function right behind that. If downwards there is a hole, uh, then we want them to drop. No, do we want them to step first? I, I don't know. What, we'll figure it out and we can always edit it later. But we want them to drop. And that should actually be it. We just have to put a jump command in this as well. So we'll jump and this is the way to do it, right? Okay, so let's see if this is how to do it. Here we go. Looks like... <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh my god, this is such a rewarding game. Being that I've never done this before, this is really, really fun. Now we're living dangerously, really on the edge. So that took 12 lines of code. That actually isn't that bad. Uh, all right, year seven is done. Continue 
to the elevator. Okay, we're getting kind of to the fun stuff now. Intro, intro, wow. Intro to moral officers. Okay, well, I guess we're getting another introduction. Year eight, here we go. Been here for eight years, guys. Congratulations, you're doing great. Thanks. I cannot believe how great you're doing. As your employee morale officers, we are here to offer occasional tips on how to keep your workers feeling delighted. For example, come on up, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, that's me. We find Wait. that workers it appreciate like an me. occasional confirmation of a job well done. You might say, congratulations, you're doing great. Followed this by a depressing. gentle but firm pat on the rear. No. That a boy, Jeff. When I was his age, I was a refrigerator. Good work, everyone. You know how many salads wilted inside me? With enough teamwork and engineering, even a kitchen appliance can become a mid-level office manager. We're not just building data solutions. We're, We're building, building a family. family. Oh my god. This is too real. This is what the this is what society's going to become. All right, let's try one more here. We got uh, a cut in the road here. Obviously, we can go up this way. I'm assuming we have a choice. Uh, there's a dead end that way though, so I'm assuming we got to learn that and then head up this way. Anyways, let's learn dynamic angles. That was a good old cup of coffee. Who wants to do something crazy? See that nice steady straight horizontal line of data cubes? Let's be wild and turn it into a diagonal line. All right, this is really good. Love that first data cube, where is it? Uh, and make that line descend like a staircase. So basically we have to d build a staircase with these things. All right, uh, data displayed at 45 degree angle. Whoever heard of such a thing, right? So this one might be pretty easy actually. We want them to step forward and if there's a data cube, Pick it up. Well, actually, everyone is picking up at the same spot, so we don't even need an if command. We can just tell them to pick up their damn data cube. And then we want them to step downward again. This is where we need an if command. So what is the best way to do this? If to the left there is a data cube, then we want them to step. Uh, I don't want an else. I just want them to continue to step. So, uh, oh my god, my brain. So I think what we need is the else command, and then, uh, oh no, I want the else. I don't know how to get back the else when you get rid of it. Okay, uh, uh, you know, oh, I just have to bring something down, and then there's else. So I think what we want to do is the else command, so if, uh, I guess we're gonna have to put drop down. Else, drop. Is that it, actually? Would that work? I, I don't think this is gonna work, but let's just try. Okay, so he's, nope, that's not how to make a staircase, guys. So let's see what went wrong here. I know this code's pretty bad right now, so I'm telling them if to the left of them there's a data cube. No, we don't want them to step. We want them to drop. No, we no, no, we don't. We do want them to step if there's one to the left of them. I have a better appreciation for programmers right now. All right, so at key number four, we want them to if they're wait no if we want if it's empty, if it's empty, not a data cube, right? If there's if it's empty to the left of them. Nothing. Okay, so we can put nothing. We want them not to step. My brain, man. Okay, hold on. Keep going. So if nothing, which there is nothing to the left of this guy, uh, for everyone else, there's a human to the left of them, so they won't do anything. Uh, we want them to dr drop, not step. So we, we're going to put a drop down here, and then we're going to get rid of that. Else, just keep walking. Okay, so I think that's what I did wrong. So we just want them to else step downwards, and then we're going to loop or jump. I'm gonna always call it loop just because it makes more sense to me. Um, else, I think up to step maybe? Let's try it, let's see what happens here. Here we go, dropping it. What? What? Why? Why is there? Okay, that's, I mean, we're getting somewhere. It's just not exactly right. So why did they add an extra step in? Oh, did I? Okay, I think what I have to do is put this down here like that, probably, right? All right, let's just hit play and see if that was correct. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so my 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 actual humans are not in a perfect line, but that wasn't the goal. It was to put the data in the line. So not the perfect code, I don't think, but good enough for me. Oh no, what have we done? What did what did we do? Use five or fewer commands? Oh, I was so close! I had seven! God, how would you do that with five? 
Well, we did get the speed challenge, we just didn't get the size challenge. So, being that I'm a new coder, I'm pretty happy that I was actually really close to five. I, I guess we could actually kind of look at this and see if we can make it better. Alright, you know what? I've looked at this and I can't figure out an easy way to do it, so we're just gonna move on. I mean, I'm not a coding professional, that's for damn sure. Uh, but yeah, if you guys know how to do this in five, let me know in the comments below, because I would love to learn from you guys as well. Uh, we did it regardless, and we actually got the speed challenge done as well. If we go in here, uh, complete in six or fewer seconds, over 25 random tests, I had an average of five seconds, so gotta say I'm pretty happy with that, and we almost got the size challenge done, so... Back to the elevator we go, and on that, we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of 7 Billion Humans. Now, if you guys do want to see more, let me know in the comments below. And if you are a coding professional, feel free to give me some tips, man, because I need all of them I can get. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.